One dash attack. I hate Rob so much. One dash attack. It was all he needed. To Rob get cheats. This re reset. Rob cheats. Jin made a ton of great adjustments that game, though. And going it wasn't into just Jin. Finals. Luma made it way better adjustments. Yeah. That's I, what I'm going yeah, with. Luma's adjustments were so Luma, much better in that Luma situation. Hit pretty much like everything that, he wanted. That was an absurd advantage string there. Oh, boy. Jin going to be sticking with Pyramithra as we head into Deadass Finals. KK Western once again making the scene here on Town and City. Rob trying to control that space underneath the platforms with his Nair. Damn, even the Fair doing a great job of it. But all Jin wants to do is land on this guy. Yeah. Try and hit him. I am believing in the Pyra. I believe in the Pyra. I, I am a firm believer in the People's Republic of Jintucky. He waited oh, for the. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, maybe I should so stop. So Luma, stop believing. we need to talk about Luma and how he's able to react. Not just able. I'm sure he's put way tons of practice yeah. into reacting to when those tilts come out on tons of different characters. You're alive. You're dead. You're, You're alive. alive. He's so big. I'm sorry. Plant. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Yeah. But yet, Luma reacting to I kind what of is happening. I kind of expected Tomahawk forward throw there. Because Pyro... Luma! <laughs> Please! Taunt to get bodied instantly. He did the little cha-cha-cha-cha, and then he died for it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, his reactions to things have been insane. Like He's not just executing a game plan. He's reacting to things in real time with this game and making sure that they go his way. Yeah. It, oh, all right, a gimmer. gimmer. A little bit of a gimmer. Shout out to the game invitation. We have not there. seen that since uh, the game and watch up here that got four sided through. Oh yeah. You're I right. wonder if Jin's going to start doing that more often. Into up tilt. Maybe oh. he's like been uh, you know holding off. Now I, he can reveal his true power. Yeah, I think maybe like you're down to a regular. No. Nope. Or like regular grands, and you're like, all right, I'm going to save a few things for dead ass. All right, nice there little. it started with a little bit of ledge trapping. Now that you're off stage, you're going super high. Pirate time. All right, oh, trying okay. to throw out a couple down airs. The move is safe on shield, but I'll tell you what, it's not safe on whiff when Rob has... Ar that was something that Jin didn't do last time. He never swatted away the uh, Luma. Unlike other fighting games, you don't get a penalty for just getting hit while attacking. There is no counter mechanic in this game. Yeah, so something I'm noticing Luma do now is that he's playing much faster. Uh, every time he sees Jin with a whiff, he's like, okay, now's my chance. The first whiff. I need to get it now. Yeah, the first whiff. I'm repositioning. I'm doing what I want. I, that didn't hit. All right, this gets rid last, of that top. This Th is last stock. This is. Little damage here. Jin forced to just fade away as they get that trade, and Rob takes that trade every day of the week. Especially if you get the laser after it, like Luma did. Ooh, they're, they're both playing so high. They keep burning their... They're literally playing in double jump territory for some reason. I think it's cool. At the Forward throw? Yeah. Okay. Pyra has the longer uh, vertical recovery there, so he keeps switching back to Mithra. Uh-oh. Yeah, he we're keeps, getting a side B now. He yeah. switches back to the Mithra for the uh, horizontal area and the recovery, and then switches back to Pyrus so that he gets uh, the higher raise. We've got to do something crazy Forward here. Forward throw. Jin going off stage. Whoa, okay. That anti air. The pillar all the of way fire. Yeah, that's the. That's an anti air. See ya. Yeah, you yeah. see what I mean? Jin was like, or er, uh, Luma was like, okay, F tilt, jab, rolling, rolling. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm you, moving. You missed, you missed one move, I'm going. I'm in there. Was that you? Uh, yeah, I accidentally took your cord. Oh, yeah, 4-0. Yeah, it is 4-0 right now. Luma looking great this game. They are on a roll. I love how they just adapted to playing in the double jump area. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just funny. They just decided, like, okay, we're up here now. KK Condor, we moved off of Smashville and went to Town and City. I wonder why Jin is doing these changes. Yeah, and now we're back to Smashville again. He's just, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. We, we just keep switching between Town and Smashville, and I'm not sure why Jin is well, swapping between well, the I two. Well, I know why we went back to Town. It's because that had to be the neutral starter. Oh, true. Yeah. Well, Luma probably banned Smashville. 
And then he bans like a counter pick. Yeah. Instead of one of the starters. Yeah. Got and then, it, got and it, then got it, got it. instead of banning Smashville, he's banning like Hollow Bastion or something. Hey, thanks for following Tim Prater. You're watching Dead Ass Finals Game Two. Jin is down 1-0 versus Luma, who's absolutely dominating this win this grand final set. Yeah, as Luma came from losers 3-0ing Jin after losing a 3-2 set in winners finals to him. We are looking at Deadass Finals. This could be some of the last oh. gameplay of the night. All right, all right, she's making it back. No problem there. Yeah, we have, what, at maximum four games left? At Three maximum. after this. Yeah. That Not safe if you don't huge. space it. Jin is looking tired, dude. Yeah, and honestly, with Luma playing like this, it's looking like we're only getting one more after this. All right, able to get that parry. Looking for a spike. Gets hit away by the top. No, get right. there it is. Great roll read. 2-2. Two, two. Getting a little bit of a glasses adjustment from both of them. <laughs> I think that Jin noticed that Luma's trying to go at, like, first tempo, and now he's like, okay, I'm going to slow down and react one layer later. All right. Did the get up attack gets punished by dash attack? I really like... No. The two frames, sometimes it just happens That's to you. That's the RNG that Jin has been doing his best to try and avoid and try to fight as though it doesn't matter. Sometimes if you're oh, at that... No. Uh, no. No. Luma. Dude, Luma in complete control. Those long horizontal combos are insane. Luma, Luma has hit so many of those this set now. It is, it is looking like a Luma sweep. Luma's control over the ledge, over the stage, over his own character, and hell, even over his opponent, has been utterly dominated. My man is vibing yeah, look to... At him, look at him what's, what's he listening to? Uh, definitely K-pop. Kanye West? Definitely K-pop. K-pop? Definitely K-pop. I could, I could hear some ring a day this, in there. This, this dude is playing like he's listening to K-pop. Stream. All right. Game three, potentially... A last uh, game situation for Jin. On S FD? I, FD is... It's all right, all right, he timed it. Choice. It's Yeah, it is an interesting choice. Uh, Jin seems to just not be cutting it super well with projectiles. I gotta be thinking he wants to catch the Rob's landings as much as possible because Rob keeps getting away to these platforms on Smashville and on Town and City, and we're just not having an opportunity to punish him thanks to how mobile and tricky he is. Maybe limiting his uh, space will limit his ability to escape from Jin. Yeah, exactly. And Jin has been doing a great job of these long huh? vertical combos, keeping Rob in disadvantage for as long as possible. And not having a platform does make it a little more difficult to land. I like seeing all these empty landings coming out from Jin. Like, he just does an empty jump. Oh. Didn't clip the ledge. That's an empty stock for Jin. Uh, <laughs> Jin and Luma. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right, I, all right, I like right, that right. Luma just, just hovered there for a minute. That's supposed to be a true combo, and I'm mad that it's not. Uh, yeah, it, it definitely I thought he was supposed, supposed to be big. To be yeah, no, that I hits Bowser, guaranteed. I think we saw DI like hard up and in. Yeah, he's DIing hard up and in. He knows exactly what the threat is out of that. All right. But the up smash finally sealing that stock. All right. So Luma's still doing his best to try and control the center stage as best as possible. Yeah, they're and see, they're, <laughs> they're still playing in that double jump space. It's so Yeah, cool. despite the lack of platforms. But Jin is doing a better job of catching these landings, trying to catch the dash, because while Rob is pretty good at dashing away or just jumping in place and throwing out aerials, Mithra's arguably better. If she's able to keep up with him, if she's able to track this Rob, gets the grab out of the I, tilt. Okay, I like that down tilt in the grab. Though. She needs to send him off stage. All right, that's the, what the goal was, I think. Just send him off stage thanks to a juggle because he was running low on uh, smoke, on yeah. gas, whatever. Definitely uh, uh, reacting to the trip. Yeah, Luma's, like, I was going to say, nice Luma's uh, hit confirms are insane. <gasps> the SDI, you saw it, down and in, down and in. He's insane. There were, like, five inputs Cheat. of it. All right, nothing. That's killing. Nope, no, okay. not even Great close. Great DI, great DI. It was killing bad DI. All right, all right. No trip happened that time. Jin getting a little bit lucky that he wasn't set. Uh-oh. It's so smooth. I, these, the reverse jump into uh, grab has been going absolutely dummy. Absolutely has. <laughs> all right, Jin is here on the ledge trying to figure something Gets out. It's a real read. Great. You cannot SDI it. out of it this time. Yeah, I saw the input. He was definitely trying. I'm sorry. Did he just fair out of shield Mithra jab? Yeah, jab one. See ya. 
All right. Doing, doing some uh, Z-drop mares. All right, all right, all right. Jin walking away with that first, second stock. And now we're sitting on Jin's potential last stock of the tournament. Yes, yeah, zero, with, zero. With uh, Luma just sitting in complete control ever since game one of grand finals. Jin has been doing his best to keep it even, doing his best to uh, rest control away back from this freaking robber. I was going to say, we got another one of these horizontal combos. The parry on the landing hitbox, that's huge. 90%. Gyro? He went, he went from one side of the stage to the other, and then back Up again. Tilt. Up air. The frame trap. Forcing the double jump. <laughs> Wuma is in control right now. Everything on ledge. Every single time he's on ledge. Into the up air. You have to Excellent DI, but it's still not enough. Wuma 6-0 in finals, beating the third place allegations. Good lord. Con uh, hey. Congrats on winning the best tournament yeah, that you, you went to you here won the, you won the matter you won the yeah you won yeah. the one that mattered great job <laughs> good stuff from man Luma. Jin gonna be walking away with second place not too shabby he's yeah. won a couple monthlies Jin, uh, and ales in his time Jin's, Jin's not too happy but there, was, there was a thrown court over there most of the time he's um he gets stopped by dark shad or yeah. doorstop just some some guy from St. Louis with a 6-0 in a set that he'd won previously yeah this is going to be something that uh he's going to be sleeping on tonight